Welcome to the Horror Next Door. We're back with our favorite new horror trailers from July 2021. But first, if you enjoy everything from the world of horror, movies, video games, masks, and memorabilia, please subscribe. Now, on with the trailers. Howling Village. After her brother goes missing, a young psychologist visits an infamous haunted and cursed location known as Howling Village to investigate his disappearance and uncover her family's dark history. Howling Village was apparently released in 2019, but is finally getting a release in the U.S. Howling Village is directed by Takashi Shimizu, who directed the original Grudge and Grudge 2, and apparently the U.S. remakes of The Grudge and Grudge 2, which apparently I wasn't aware of. I think my interest in this is solely based on my longstanding love of J-horror. I really like the original Ring and Grudge movies. I know that they've been so expanded upon and, you know, copied and everything like that since then to the point where a lot of people just find no joy in those anymore, but although I wasn't a huge fan of any of the American remakes for the most part, I have seen a really good amount of Japanese horror movies that have like somewhat unimpressive uh, effects, you know, CGI wise. And I think you can see that in this trailer, but that doesn't take away from the enjoyment. It doesn't take away from the story and the parts that are really spooky. It's spooky. And the parts that, you know, don't have kind of silly looking effects. I don't know, maybe it's just because I can appreciate, you know, the so bad it's good type of movie here and there that it just doesn't bother me. But other than the, the silly looking effects, I really just think this looks cool. And I know that the lady with the long black hair, you know, again, it's been done a lot, but um, I think she looks really creepy and... I also get sort of, uh, with the camera and the found footage feel, I also get a uh, sort of Blair Witch vibes from this. So I just think it looks like a fun mixture of stuff and like something that I'm going to enjoy watching. So I pretty much agree with everything Hellcat just said. Uh, this movie looks weird. I love me some weird Japanese horror films, so bring it on. Malignant. Madison is paralyzed by shocking visions of grisly murders, and her torment worsens as she discovers that these waking dreams are in fact terrifying realities. Malignant is directed by James Wan, who brought us Saul and The Conjuring 1 and 2. Malignant stars Annabelle Wallace, who was in Annabelle. I think my interest in this movie basically stems from the Nightmare on Elm Street-esque dream reality amalgamation thing. <laughs> Sorry for all the ellipses in that statement. I, I do think that some of the effects and things of that nature make it look like this was probably a little bit rushed or like a lower budget than they were used to or something, or maybe they wrote these crazy things that they couldn't quite accomplish fully when they went to make it. I don't really know, but I, I still think that it looks interesting and it does, the trailer does show a couple of parts that look pretty creepy or, or spoopy or whatnot, so... So I am a big fan of James Wan ever since I saw the original Saw, obviously the Insidious films, The Conjuring. I love all his horror films. I know he started doing other things like Aquaman, and I think he directed Fast and the Furious 7 or something, but I really think he needs to stick to horror. This film, though, I didn't know anything about this movie. Usually I hear about things, you know, oh, this director's working on this or this director's working on that had no clue about this movie, all of a sudden there's just a trailer that says James Wan's Malignant. Oh, okay. That being said, I do think the trailer looks a little cheesy, you know, compared to some of his previous work, like The Conjuring especially. But I do like the killer aspect to it. Obviously, I'm a slasher fan. I'm hoping that maybe there's a little bit of a slasher element to this. The killer guy does look kind of cool. 
I'm hoping that maybe the trailer just is a little lacking, but the movie will be awesome because again, it is James Wan. So when it comes to horror, he seems to know what he's doing. Um, the other thing is, is all the weird, I guess they're like, I guess, I guess when she's in the dream, she has all these weird, uh, there's these weird CGI moments where the, the room is opening up and stuff. And I don't know if that's part of the dream and we're just like seeing it or if it's reality and that just happens every time the killer shows up or something. I don't know, but movie looks fun. Can't wait to check it out. Blood Red Sky. A woman with a mysterious illness is forced into action when a group of terrorists attempt to hijack a transatlantic overnight flight. Blood Red Sky stars Dominic Purcell from Prison Break, Blood Creek, and The Grave Dancers. So we hate talking about trailers for movies that are already out for you to watch. This movie is up right now on Netflix, but Netflix seems to have a track record of showing off a trailer for something and then the next day it's up on streaming. So, oh well, we're going to talk about it. Well, I love vampire movies. I love Blade and Lost Boys and Near Dark, even though the word vampire isn't even said in that movie, by the way, if you didn't know that fact. <laughs> I just love those types of movies. I have so many that I really enjoy. And even though this isn't a full-on straight-up vampire movie, I like, you know, that her illness, <laughs> the way it manifests herself. She looks like a Nosferatu, you know, what we do in the shadows kind of vampire. And uh, I just think that that's really cool. Even though there's just, you know, quick flashes of her when she's in that form, it just looks awesome. It looks so good. And sometimes uh, if you've seen some really corny vampire movies, you might have seen some pretty <laughs> ridiculous makeup or, you know, fangs or whatever you want to call the teeth. I just hope that the whole, you know, story around it and the acting and everything matches the awesomeness of how she looks and the fact that she's basically a vampire because it's a cool idea. I, I just want it to be executed well. <laughs> We shall see. So I, on the other hand, am not the biggest vampire fan. There are some movies that I like that have vampires in them. But for the most part, I don't really seek out vampire movies. And, you know, I haven't seen all the ones that people would probably consider classics. But that being said, I think the trailer for Blood Red Sky looks pretty cool. I haven't seen Dominic Purcell in a while. I was, you know, I'm a fan of Prison Break. Obviously, the later seasons got ridiculous but he's cool nice to see him in something the idea for this movie where everything's taking place on this plane you know and there's these terrorists and everything i like that idea and i like you know her just like you know going crazy and screwing up these guys plans and eating these people and i think at one point it looks like even one of the other ones changes into a vampire like she probably is like biting people and they're starting to become vampires so there's maybe going to be a couple of vampires who knows but yeah this movie looks looks awesome it looks violent and i can't wait to see it and it's up on netflix and we haven't watched it yet but there you go chucky after a vintage chucky doll turns up at a suburban yard sale an idyllic american town is thrown into chaos as a series of horrifying murders begin to expose the town's hypocrisies and secrets Chucky is a new TV series from the creator Don Mancini. It will star Alex Vincent, Jennifer Tilly, Fiona Dorif, and Devin Sawa. And also we heard that Christine Elise McCarthy, who played Kyle in Child's Play 2, will also be starring. And best of all, Brad Dorif is back as the voice of Chucky. And for any Friday the 13th fans out there, if IMDb is to be correct, Lexa Doig from Jason X will be making an appearance. Oh boy! After that uggo we just had to look at in the Child's Play remake, <laughs> Chucky the cutie is finally back. The design on this doll is precious. I love it. He is a psycho killer in a doll body. But I would want that doll. It's so cute. <laughs> it's 
It looks awesome. I mean, what can I say? It looks like the Chucky we know and love from the original Child's Play, Child's Play 2. I can't really remember Child's Play 3, but I know, I know he was a badass throughout all of them. Just, he was always on a friggin' rampage, you know? He was always just crazy. And I love that. I love that it has nothing to do with silly modern technology computer or whatever. And I also think it's really cool that so many people from a bunch of the movies, the good movies, <laughs> are gonna be <laughs> in this show. Like, Jennifer Tilly's awesome. And I really like Christina Lee McCarthy. I follow her on Instagram and whatever, and that's where... I saw her saying she was filming, so hopefully she is actually in it. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited for this. It looks really fun. I guess first and foremost is I'm glad that Don Mancini is back doing this TV series because he had nothing to do with the Child's Play remake that came out of oh, a year or two ago. And that movie was, I really didn't like that movie. Also, I'm super glad that Brad Dorff is back doing the voices Chucky because as far as I'm concerned, he is the voice of Chucky and it's going to be really hard to ever find somebody to do the voice as good as he's been doing it all these years. So that being said, I am excited for this. I don't know how exactly this is going to work because it says it's a joint thing between Sci-Fi Channel and the USA Network. I don't know if you're going to have to watch some of the episodes on one channel or some of the episodes on the other channel, or are they just going to air on both? Who knows, but we're going to watch it nonetheless. And it's going to be awesome. I love the dark humor that this, that this trailer shows off. And I think my favorite part is when he's in the bed with the little girl and he says, I'm going to go kill your brother now or something like, like you want to come with me? <laughs> and she's just like, I'm tired. I just always have a warm spot in my heart for Chucky. Uh, I remember watching the first three Child's Play films as a kid, just like, you know, when you're a kid and you just watch things on repeat. I've probably seen the first three, who knows how many times, probably enough to almost break the VHS tapes. I'm not a huge fan of some of the later films, especially the last one that just came out was a Cult of Chucky. It got a little ridiculous with him cloning himself or whatnot, but nonetheless, it's Chucky. And as long as... Don Mancini's involved and Brad Dourif's doing the voice. I mean, what can go wrong? But yeah, I'm curious to see how the Child's Play series or the Chucky films are going to translate over to television. But based on this trailer, it looks like it's going to be pretty fucking cool. And I can't wait. As always, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment letting us know what you thought of these trailers. All the trailers we discussed will be linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and don't forget to visit our store and social media pages. Until next time, wanna play?